Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margarita and today I am here to bring you a library book haul. So I have recently been to my local library and then to the library the next county over, which I am also a member of, and I picked up quite a few books. So without further ado, let's just jump right into them. So the first set of books I'm going to talk about are all part of the same graphic novel series. And that is volumes two, three, and four of the Lumberjane series. This is by Stevenson, Ellis, Waters, Allen, and Leah Hall. And I am really enjoying the Lumberjane series. This is basically, it's like these girls go to an away camp for Girl Scouts essentially, but they're called Lumberjanes. And it's about all the crazy shenanigans that they get into while they're at this away camp. There are mythical creatures that are attacking them and all of the girls have these great personalities. I love this series so much and I cannot wait to continue on with the series. I will have to find the next ones at my library soon. The next book is a book that I am currently reading and that is Blood of Wonderland by Colleen Oakes. And I decided to get the second book from my library because I own the first book and it wasn't mind-blowing in my mind, but I wanted to continue on with the series, see how I felt about it. These covers are absolutely stunning. So, I mean, and look at look at that. Look at the back of that cover. And these are just such beautiful covers. So I really want to like the story so that I can collect all of the books. But we'll see how that goes. You should never buy books just because of the covers, but let's be honest, a lot of us do that. So, so far I am about 150 pages in. The plus for this series is that it's an incredibly fast and easy read. I started this book maybe a day or two ago and I have not been reading it exclusively. And I'm already almost halfway through. So these are fast, easy reads. It's just the story is a little wishy-washy for me. This is not an Alice in Wonderland retelling. It's a Queen of Hearts novel. So I'm assuming this is the origin story of the Queen of Hearts. I don't really know. It follows our main um, character who is Dinah, who is the princess of Wonderland. And her father is the ruthless King of Hearts and things that happen there. I don't want to say too much, but I'm not entirely in love with this series at the moment. I'm in love with the covers. But the series is a little bit lackluster, so we'll see how this book ends. Maybe I'll fall in love with it. Who knows? Anything is possible. The next book that I'm also reading, I'm about 100 pages in, is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Again, another absolutely stunning book cover. Look at this. It's gorgeous. And this follows our main character, Alice, whose grandmother wrote these fairy tales. I think there are 12 of them. And she can't find the books anywhere and she's not allowed to um, read the stories that her grandmother wrote. She's estranged from her grandmother. She lives with her mom and they're always on the road because of bad luck that follows them. And at this point in the story, her mom has gone missing and she's trying to figure out the connection between her grandmother, the fairy tales that she wrote and her missing mother. And so far it's okay. I'm not in love. I don't hate it. I don't really know enough about it. But so far, I'm I'm enjoying it for the most part. The next book that I got is My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. And this is a Lady Jane Grey retelling, and I hear that it's hilarious. And I saw it there, and I thought, hey, why not? People seem to really love this series. So, or not a series. I mean, they came out with, I believe, a... Jane Eyre retelling recently, but they seem to really enjoy this book. So I thought I'd give it a try, see what I think. The next book that I have to talk about is Akata Witch by Nettie Akora Four, I believe is how you pronounce her name. And this is about a an albino girl from from New York and she lives in Nigeria and I believe that there's magic involved. I think like a magic school or something. I'm not 100% sure. I am going to be saving this book for a readathon I'm going to be doing with a friend of mine very soon. Um, if you guys are interested, I will definitely be uploading a um, TBR for that soon. And I'm just really excited. I've heard wonderful things about this author and I cannot wait to read it. The next book that I have to talk about is The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. 
and I believe that this is the story of um, Holly Chase and she becomes one of the ghosts from the Christmas Carol I don't know if she's the ghost of Christmas present past or future I want to say she becomes the ghost of Christmas past but I really have no idea and it's just I've heard good things about it and I saw it there and I thought I'd give it a try the next book that I have to talk about is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and um, I believe that this is a story about grief and loss and depression and I'm just very interested in reading it. It's incredibly short and I saw it at my library and I checked it out on Libby a while ago and I never actually read it and then it expired but when I saw the actual book I thought why not give it a try. I'm much better at reading physical books than I am at reading ebooks so that's why I picked this one up. And then I have two more to go. The next one is Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I have started this one. I am about, God, I don't know. My bookmarker fell out at some point. I don't know. I was about like 30 or 40 pages into this. And I'm not 100% sure what this is about yet. I don't want to know too much about it. But I know that Karen Slaughter writes a lot of really dark um, stories. And so far, there has been a murder and a kidnapping and apparently there's a fat lady <laughs> like that's that's all I've got about the story so far I'm not too far in and I'm gonna have to figure out where my bookmark was supposed to go but so far so good I'm enjoying it the writing style is not bad and then last but not least is Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Basherdoust I don't know how to pronounce that last name I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I really have no idea what this book is about, but I've heard good things. Um, I believe Lala over at Books and Lala read it and really enjoyed it, I think. I hope that's true, I hope I'm remembering that correctly. But I saw it there and I figured I would give it a shot. So those are all the books that I have currently physically checked out from my library. I also have books on Libby and on Hoopla that I have checked out. I've just finished reading the um, Wicked and Divine series on Hoopla, which I will talk about in my wrap up. And I'm reading Bitch Planet on there now. And then on Libby, I am currently reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm only about four chapters into that. So far, I'm not entirely blown away, but I'm not that far into it to begin with. So those are all the books that I currently have checked out from my library. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys have checked out and what you guys are reading. If you've read any of these, your thoughts and opinions on them. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.